Okay, and welcome to uh, the much delayed episode two of TDL Stickies. Um, I'm Jamie DeGrazio. Um, I'm not sure why it's taken this long to get another episode out. Uh, lazy summer days, I'll blame it on lazy summer days. Uh, lots of bad sunburn, as you can see. Um, so, anyhow, Ryan asked me to, this weekend is Comic Con, San Diego. He asked me to, um, if there was anything I could touch on, being the comic book fan at TDL, um, and I didn't really see anything that related to what we do at TDL, um, but two things I just wanted to point out in case no one, in case you missed it, if you're uh, a fan of Tron from the 80s, there's a, they're making a sequel, of course, um, and there's a trailer up, it should be up on the Apple website, Tron Legacy, looks fantastic, um, I guess it's going to be in 3D, uh, just unbelievable, you should check it out. And the other thing is, if you've been following um, James Cameron's uh, Avatar movie, which has been sort of shrouded in secrecy, no one's seen any footage, um, it looks like August 15th, if you go to your IMAX, your local IMAX uh, theater, you'll be able to see a, a free 15-minute screening of the movie. And I'm not sure. The movie's in 3D. I'm not sure if the screening will be in 3D. I, I guess it will. But it sounds like a, a pretty cool marketing idea. Um, but So anyhow, what I wanted to touch upon was I saw a... Uh, a quote from Bill Gates on the Project Natal, which is the, the 3D camera controller-free system for the uh, Xbox 360, which is coming out uh, next year. And he mentioned that um, basically it wasn't just for th the Xbox, but also for media consumption as a whole. That was the quote. And that they're going to incorporate it into Windows and, and, and future PCs. So... Um, what does this have to do with Apple? Because that's basically what we, we cover here at TDL. So, um, uh, the, the, the Project Natal was purchased, the technology was basically purchased um, from a company called 3DV Systems for $35 million, which, you know, if you look back now, or if we, when we do look back, it, it seems like it's going to be a pretty small investment, $35 million. Um, and I just started thinking if, if this was maybe a missed opportunity for Apple, to uh, purchase technology similar to this, um, considering they have this Apple TV project, um, Apple TV hobby, as they like to call it, um, this is sort of floundering. You know, it would have been nice maybe to um, incorporate this uh, 3D camera system into Apple TV, um, maybe relaunch the Apple TV yet again with, I'm um, thinking like an iPhone-like interface with an app store, you know, with you know games, of course, now on your Apple TV. Um, and considering that Apple already has the eyesight built into all their desktops and notebooks, why not replace the eyesight with you know with this Project Natal type camera? It just seems like a very Apple idea. The whole concept of you know Apple loves to get rid of buttons, get rid of controllers. Uh, the idea to be able to control your Apple TV just by waving your hands and gestures and uh, with voice commands. Um, if you look at the uh, new iPod Shuffle, you know, they got rid of all the buttons on that. It's voice controlled. Um, so it just seems like it is, I just wonder if Apple's losing the, the battle for the living room, as they call it. Um, you know, if you look, there's 50 million Wiis, and there's rumors that the Wii is getting a, a movie store coming out soon. Um, there's 20-some million 360s, 20-some million PS3s, both have their own video and media stores. Um, we don't know the numbers on Apple TV. Um, Apple doesn't provide those. I'm, I'm guessing it's because they haven't sold too well, and it probably is a, a bit of an embarrassment. That's why they continue to call it a hobby. Um, and, you know, we, we tend to pick on Apple TV here at TDL, and it's, it's just not because we don't like it, it's just because it just is one of those few devices which Apple has released recently which seems to be a bit, a bit of a failure and seems to be like it could be doing so much more um, than it is so that's it just uh, just wondering what's going on with Apple TV I mean, I'm guessing that if uh, we don't see any updates soon that by this time next year late 2010, we probably won't see the Apple TV. I'm guessing it'll get phased out slowly, but hopefully not, because we uh, we love Apple. We'd like to see uh, see them do more, especially in the living room. Seems like a you know perfect per perfect place for a great Apple device. So um, 
that's it. We'll put a link up on uh, TDL for the Tron trailer for you uh, sci-fi geeks. All right. See you later.